All right, we have some triangles here, uh, two shapes that both have three sides, and I'm going to give you some measurements. The bottom one, 15, that's the length of the base. A base is the side that a triangle sits on. And for just good measure, we'll call it 15 feet, smelly feet. Now the height is missing, but a height refers to the height or the tallness of a triangle. So I'm tracing it in right now. And let's call that, just for fun, 7 feet. So imagine it's like a roof to a nice big treehouse. I want to find the area. How much area is inside? How much paint do I need to go get to cover that area? I'm going to use my formula. Area of a triangle, this is supposed to be an A, is a formula 1 half times base times height. So my base is 15 feet. I'll put 15 feet and substitute it for B. My height is 7 feet. So I'll substitute that for H. 7 feet there. My 1 half does no changing at all. So the area of a triangle are these three numbers multiplied. I'm just going to use my fractional understanding of multiplication. I'll rewrite all of these numbers as whole numbers over 1. So I can multiply denominator times denominator times denominator. Which one are those? The numbers down below right here, 2 times 1 times 1 is... And then I'm going to multiply 15 times 7. Those are all my numerators. That'd be right here. All three numbers multiplied makes 105. Yes. So 105 over 2. But wait, Mr. Kim, what about the feet? You're multiplying feet times feet. So I will say then foot times foot is feet squared, because I have two feet that are multiplying each other. That's where the squared concept comes from. And then I'm going to go ahead and make this improper fraction. I'm just going to use mental math, all right? The area of this triangle is 50, uh, <laughs> 52 and one-half feet squared. 